All right guys, Papa Pepper here with another one of my wild friends. This is the second one of these I found in my life. I know it may look like a worm, but it's actually a Texas blind snake. Now the first one I caught was years ago. I thought it was a worm when I found it. And uh, it was like a pale pink color. This one's kind of more of a, a jet black, dark purple type interesting color. Um, it actually does have, you know, its little head up here and then the back side of it's got a kind of pointy little tail. Um, most people aren't going to find these because they live underground in the loose soil for uh, most of their life. Sometimes if it floods or if, uh, if there's a lot of rain they'll come up to the surface where a lot of times they're just mistaken as, uh, as worms. They're native to the uh, southwestern United States and then northern Mexico. They'll get almost a foot in length. Um, both ones I found were just a couple couple inches like this but even so they're very very slender. You can actually see inside of it on the belly it's so uh, kind of see through there and it does have kind of two tones to it. A lighter color on the belly and then a darker color on the back. Um, like I said they're mostly if it wasn't for the scales on the one I found before, I would have thought it was a worm. And then I noticed his little black eyes and, uh, and his little tongue. Now these guys, I know some kinds of worm snakes mostly eat worms. These guys actually eat termites, so that's good. And then as well, uh, like ant larvae. They're, uh, those kind of dig through the soil and find different stuff like that. Little small things they can eat. Um, uh, was kind of so there's three I think subspecies of it three different little kinds So I'm not sure if the pink one I found before and this one are are different kinds or if they can interbreed uh, And actually as I was doing some online research I found out Supposedly that the eastern screech owl will pick these up and Bring them to their nest if they find them and drop them in their nest And I thought well that makes sense, you know Why not eat it? Why not have your uh, owlets eat it? But, supposedly, they drop them in there to clean it of parasites, where it's going to eat whatever little bugs might be living in the nest. And, uh, if that's true, that is crazy that those animals would, you know, work together in that way, but perhaps they were created to do so. So, these guys, uh, I guess when you grab them, they're going to try to wiggle a bunch. They're pointy tail. Sometimes they'll try to kind of stab you with that to a degree. They do have a little mouth, but, but they're harmless. They're not going to hurt you. And uh, I think they're crazy cool. I try to get some good photos of them. Uh, it'll probably just look like a dark squiggle on a uh, on the ground. So, all right, pop out. As always, I'm Papa Pepper, and I'd like to remind you: don't post for free. If you'd like to be part of a revolution in social media, an economic power to the people, where users can actually blog for cryptocurrency, then I'd recommend that you check out steamit.com and join the revolution. Pop out.